We've all been there when we're desiring a touch from God or at least want to feel that he's there. So what do we do? How do we get God's attention? We found five answers in the Bible and we're going to get into it right now. Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Amanda Scott. Number one, praise. praise. In Psalms 22, it says God inhabits the praises of his people. Yeah. When we praise God, we are able to draw near to his presence. The Bible is filled with examples of times when people were lifting up their praise and God's presence came down to earth to be with them. He came down in pillars of fire, he came down in clouds, he came down in rushing winds, he came down in many different forms. And I know that I personally have been lost in worship at times and just felt like God's presence was right there with me. Perhaps you have as well. Number two, prayer. Second Chronicles says it like this. It says, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and lift up their voice to me, then I will hear their prayers and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. I love that verse. That verse tells me right there, God says, you who belong to me, if you will lift up your voice in praise, then I will come to you. I will come to you and I will forgive you and I will bring healing and restoration into your life. God's presence descends when we begin to pray. Number three, fast. While not an actual commandment, Fasting is mentioned 70 times in the Bible. The idea behind the fast is that there are many things in this world that present themselves as obstacles or, or that set distance between us and God. The fast helps break down those things. It, um, it, it allows us to remove the barriers that we place between us and God. It doesn't necessarily have to be just about food. Right. Food just often is the most common overindulgence. It's something sometimes people struggle with emotional eating even. Yeah. You can fast anything that creates a space between you and God. Could yeah. be Netflix, Facebook, social media, anything. Number four, serve. Serve. Jesus says in Matthew 25, I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty and you gave me a drink. I was homeless and you gave me a room. I was shivering and you gave me clothes. I was sick and you stopped by to visit. I was in prison and you came to me. And he goes on to say, I tell you, when you did any of these things to the least of these, you did it for me. That was me. When we have an opportunity to reach out and serve and bless someone and say God loves you to, to anyone, God's presence draws close to us. Jesus loves the most undesirable and people who feel they are so unimportant. Yeah. Pastor Tommy Barnett encourages you to get God's attention yeah. by simply find a need and fill it. Yeah. Find a hurt and heal it. Number five, give. Giving gets God's attention. Mark 12 tells us this story. Jesus is sitting inside the temple by the treasury and one by one rich men are coming and they're dropping off their wealth. They're giving lots of money to the temple. But then a little old woman comes in and she drops in just two copper coins. The valuation of those two copper coins is about a penny. And Jesus stops everything and pulls his disciples aside and he says, did you see what just happened? These men came and they're giving out of their wealth, but this, this woman came and she gave sacrificially out of almost all that she's had. And, and, and Jesus said, I tell you right now, what this woman did is worth far more to me than what these other guys have done. Jesus values sacrificial giving. We know there are those of you out there struggling, feeling frustrated, saying, I've done those things, I'm doing those things, and I still don't feel close to God. We just want to encourage you to trust His promises. Right. We want to encourage you to trust His perfect timing. Continue to not quit, not give in. That's right. Just continue to draw close to God, and He will draw near to you. Absolutely. Don't give up. Let us know how we can pray for you in the comments below. And as always, subscribe for more weekly influential encouragement and inspiration. Bye. Bye.